Okay, so we got flooring and wires out the wazoo running through this place. I got the first plank in, made some cuts to fit the wires coming up through the holes. Now, it's just a matter of fitting and cutting the rest of the planks along this back side and getting those all in place. And once I get this row and the middle section in place, I'll come back and throw down the glue and then put the, the planks on top. And then from there, we'll work on the bathroom tile. All right, let's get to it. I just have them set in here. They're not glued down or anything. We're about to go have lunch, Uncle Bill and I. I think we're gonna meet up with one of his friends, Paul. Paul, if you're watching, what's up, dude? Yeah, these are the floors. It's coming off kind of brown, but they're really, really dark gray. I like them. So yeah, we're gonna go eat, come back, and then finish this up. I'm only gonna do to about here, because once I get here, that's when I gotta start working on the bathroom tile and figuring all that, that mess out. We have this propane heater in here to help dry all the glue that we've got in certain areas for the wires. Yeah, that's what's going on right now. Catch back up with you in a few. Okay, we're back from lunch, and here is the update. I'm going to continue to cut the floors here where I need them cut, but I'm not gonna glue them down. A change of plans, and I'm gonna end up driving back to my other grandmother's, and tomorrow morning, I will glue the floors down. The reason I'm gonna wait is because the place that's gonna do it, I'm not doing it now, so I'm doing it elsewhere, so I don't wanna glue the floors and then dry three hours with partially dried floors. So that's gonna get put off till tomorrow. Secondly, since we've had the new windshield installed, I've had a, a water leak and I think we figured out the source. My uncle is currently taking out this flange because the leak, if I can show you, the leak is coming from here. Water comes down somewhere around this wire area and it drips down into my mat and then it pulls up right there into the mat. And it's always a pain to have to get this mat out to get the, the water out. So yeah, we're gonna see if we can locate the leak. We think it's somewhere in this general area. We're gonna get that sealed up and hopefully that does the job. I think, cause it can't go up and under. It's gotta go in here. Run, runs, what do you recommend? Runs uh, down. Sealing up just around all there? Or? Well, just just making sure this is sealed. Cause it's gotta be running down. Let's see what that does. We'll have to clean all that out and then go. You heard it here first. We will report back to you later. Okay, reenactment time. <laughs> So I just, I, I say I just, I turned on my camera probably about an hour ago to do this. Dialogue a little different though. And my camera just kind of crapped out on me. I knew exactly what was happening. I had the wrong memory card saved to record to. So then I went to go switch memory cards to find out that the memory card I needed wasn't in the camera. So I had to drive back to the other side of town to get my memory card. Now here we are. Okay. <laughs> I didn't need to tell you all that, but whatever. All right, so we're backing up with Gordon. I'm gonna pull everything out of the van. I feel like I keep doing that. Take everything out, put everything in. Take everything out, put everything in. So we're taking everything out. <laughs> and then I'm, we're doing two things. One of the things I'm gonna tell you about, but you're not gonna see it until another video down the road, because I don't know how many videos it's gonna take me to do this damn floor. We already saw how long it took me to do the subfloors, but but I'm gonna take the wall panels out and I'm gonna paint them with some mold and mildew paint and I'm gonna let that dry. While that's drying, we're gonna get back to the actual floors of me cutting and gluing them down. Even though I'm telling you about me painting the walls, you're not gonna see it until another video down the road. All right, let's get to work. Enough talk, let's get to work. you what I'm doing here all right so we got the floors down now again they're not glued down they're just in place I have a few more cuts I need to make but just kind of giving you the general look of the floors and they'll fade in to these tiles I still have to cut a few pieces here this extra piece I gotta cut I gotta cut a piece for this section and I still have to cut here the 
wood trap going to the tile all through there also in here so i'm going to cut these last few pieces not the hexagonal shaped parts yet and then i'll cut the hexagonal shapes after you know what i'm just going to cut some pieces <laughs> you know my plans i spit them out at you and by the time i get a quarter way into it things change welcome to van building yeah anyways i know a lot of you who are watching this who have built your own vans you know exactly what i'm saying and you're like yeah just go with the flow bro <laughs> Stop making plans and just do it. So anyways, make the rest of these cuts. Once all my cuts are done, pull everything out. And then we're gonna lay the glue down, put the floors back in. Enough talking, more doing. All right, let's see if we can finish these floors today. So all I have left to do before I can actually set the floors in on the glue and the grout is cut the tile here because this is the lid for the battery box. So I need to make sure that when I open it, the tile will open with it. Then once that piece is cut, I have to come back, put all the wood tiles down where they transition to the shower tile. And then I have to start cutting all these patterns like this i did a little sample last night this is what i need to do here is cut all of this fit like so so that's what i'm doing now let's get it done the day the floors go in let's see let me show you what i'm working on i am currently tracing with chalk my line now i've only started right here but i still have all of this to do all of that all the way down there fun and then after that i'll come back i'll make my cuts take all this floor out do it down then take this tile and cut all the edges all that and when that's cut lay down my glue tile grout good to go i still have to cut a center somewhere in here for my shower drain as well that's what we're doing finally come we are gluing the floors down these floors don't require glue but because it going in a moving vehicle I'm gonna glue them down because I don't want them shifting and moving around I was at a flooring store looking for a tile cutter for the shower tiles going to this place and talking to the owner he gave me this bucket of glue for free it is Mannington residential MT 711 pressure sensitive adhesive for use with luxury vinyl floors which is what I have, and Mannington Luxury Sheet Vinyl. I guess that's, that's uh, the right brand. But yeah, no, he gave me this big ass bucket of glue. Now, obviously I don't need a bucket of this size. He told me just use what I need and I can bring it back to him. The place is awesome. The name of the place is Flooring Connections. It's a little old flooring shop in a little old town, very small. Thanks to them, uh, I'm gonna get these floors glued. I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and speedy our way through this. Let's do this.
I have said screwed and glued throughout many episodes about this damn floor. I don't want to say we're done, but we're about 90% done. And when I say glued, I mean glued. Look at that. Oh my God. I'm sweaty. I'm dirty. Uh, it looks like I've had way too much fun. <laughs> but uh, the floors are glued. They are in, people. Now I'm just gonna let it sit, dry. I'll come back later, clean it all up, and I'll show you. I don't really want to touch the camera. Once I wash it up, I'll, I'll, I'll show you a little bit more. We're, we're getting it done, folks. We're getting it done. We just had the tire, the, the tile, the, the shower tile done now. Shower tile, shower tile, shower tile, shower. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Roads. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't say that word. Roads. <laughs> Words. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. Hands are clean. These are the floors with all the hexagon patterns cut out, glued in. And here are the floors from the rear. Pay no attention to this back area where the battery box is. I haven't even glued these down yet or messed with it. I just had it in place so I know the surrounding tiles were in the right spot. Yeah, this is still incomplete i still have to insulate it line it with more facing and i still have to create a support here so when i put it back down it is leveled because right now it's got a dip you can probably see it maybe a little I'm not really sure oh here you go we get in close here see it's not leveled i still have to raise it up put a support down there put hinges this is essentially how it'll work I'm gonna wait a few more minutes for these floors to really get dried, especially around where the tile, shower tile is going. I'm gonna go ahead and start laying down the tile. So this day, the floors are gonna get done for the most part. So I got trim and all that, that comes later. That's later down the road. All right, enough rambling. I haven't eaten yet. I think that's what's wrong with me. My energy levels are just all over the place. I've had coffee, so I'm like, ooh. <laughs> okay, let's, let, let, let's do this. Okay, so now we're cutting the tile. I'm using this tile cutter here, 30 bucks Home Depot. And here is a sample of what I cut. And this essentially is gonna go here. And it's okay if the, the cuts are not perfectly straight, but straight enough, because there's gonna be a seal that covers that up. So any imperfections will not be seen. I'm gonna cut all of those all along this so there's no overhang. All right, let's get to it. Today's tile day. Will we get it done? Fingers crossed. So currently, we have the tile cut. Right now, I'm trying to position my drain and where it will go. This bad boy right here. I gotta make sure that when I make the cut, there's nothing obstructing its path underneath, which I, I'm pretty sure I have it. But now the next thing to do is mark it on the floor where it's gonna go, and then go grab my tiles, bring them back over here, set those in place, and put that on top of the tile, and mark out the tile, and make those cut. Once I get the cut for the drain and the tiles made, then we can lay the tiles down, and the floor will be done. About 99% done, because we still have to do the step. I'm saving that for last, because the seal, this stuff right here, is gonna go over the edges. And then also my special order piece for this back seal has yet to come in. The the one who lent the floor glue to me, the flooring store, I special ordered my my front seal and it's not in yet. I don't know if you guys can hear this. If you are, sorry, my uncle's working. He's working on this project. He took the bed off the back of this truck and he's making this bed here. He welded all that together for the most part. And now he's working on this motor over here. So yeah. Sorry for the loudness, but let's get to work. All 
right, so I've got the shower drain installed, the tile cut around it. I have to still cut this section here. I'm not too concerned with the edges not being entirely straight because that's all gonna get caulked up and sealed and that'll hide these little small imperfections. And then also to kind of help straighten it out a little bit, I'll get a file and file down the edges a little bit to straighten them out and then seal it. Yeah, I've got the drain in and sealed up underneath. So now that's in permanently. The reason I'm showing you now, I wanted to show you after it was all done, kind of just skip past the whole how to I did it section. <laughs> oh, how to I did it section. Yeah, that makes sense. But it started to rain. As you can see, I've got stuff loaded up. I didn't want my wall panels to get wet. Just kind of tinkering with this. I'm about to go make a run to Home Depot. I'm gonna get a file. As I said, I'm gonna file all that down. That's where we're at currently. Tile floor may not get done today. I'm gonna blame the weather. It's not raining right this moment, but I am getting little drops here and there. And it takes me a good 10 minutes just to load up. And I've seen it happen way too many times where just out of nowhere, rain just like a bucket right on top of you loaded up good to go gonna mess with this probably gonna go clean up myself I'm taking my uncle Gordon and his wife my aunt and out to eat just kind of like my way of saying thanks for letting me use all your tools and making a mess out of your front yard we're gonna go have sushi mess with the strain a little bit more go eat and then I will show you finished product when I'm done okay peace okay the tile floor still not finished. You may notice I've got some things in here. Well, the camera really isn't doing it a lot of justice. I've got a lot of things stored in the van right now. Instead of outside out of my way, you might be picking up on that, that echo there because I am in the van, doors closed. It's still raining outside and it's cold, but I don't have a jacket on, which tells me my insulation is doing its job. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> We are working inside the van, cluttered, packed. We're gonna try to tackle this damn tile floor. Will we finish it today? I don't know, but I've got two days to finish it because today is Wednesday, and in two days from now, Thursday, Friday, three days from now, Saturday and Sunday, we're going to work on the wall. Cause Sunday, I'm leaving for another road trip. I'm not gonna tell you where, bit of a secret, but I'm gonna be filming a lot of things. Another mini road trip series. Are you ready for the title? Mini series, The Road Beyond Thunderdome. <laughs> I have a theme going here, folks. Are you catching what I'm putting down? Yes, we're gonna be filming that. And then also, during that trip, I will be filming some other things. I'm not gonna talk about that, but you'll see it. You might see those things before the, the road trips here. Still haven't decided. You might even see it before this video. So, there's that. Okay, enough yammering on. Let's get to these tiles. Jesus Christ, Bart, you talk way too much. have them in. Now I just have the paste down with the tiles on top drying. This is what I used. A acrylic pro or acryl pro professional tile adhesive. This is a flexible so when the vehicle is in motion and I'm going off road I don't have to worry about it cracking and I have the same type of grout. I have this fusion pro charcoal color. So once the acrylic pro dries, I will come back behind, fill in all the, the lines, which I'm sure that is going to be quite the chore. And then once the grout is in, I will come back behind that and put in this product. It is Lexel, an elastic sealant. And I'll put that here all the way around. And then once that is in, we will finally do this step because the trim for it overlaps this here. So yes, we're gonna let this dry. I'll come back in a couple of hours and finish the floor. So we're finally on track to getting this floor done today, finally. All right, I'm gonna come back in a couple of hours and we'll get this done. See you then.
So the update right now is we've got about 98% of the floor grouted. I ran out of grout, so that's a real pain in the butt. But I still have about this small section right here to do. So we're gonna go to the hardware store, see if I can find some more grout in the same color, because I'm not in the same town in 45 minutes from the nearest Home Depot. Fingers crossed, wish us luck. Let's go get some more grout. done. We are done with the floors. Well, about 99.99% .99 done. This is where we're going to end the vlog. Let me show you what we did. So here we go. Floors are done. From the back all the way to the front. We got our shower drain in. You're going to have to excuse the messy floors. I've been on the road for the past four weeks, so the van's a little bit dirty. And that's it. Now, we didn't finish the step. I'll explain all of that in another video. I'm gonna have another video where I come in and kinda tidy up the step area, all the trimming for the floor, finishing the box, little things, little touches here and there. I'm still waiting for my seal water barrier for the front over here. Excuse all the mess in the front seat. But yeah, we're done, sort of, I mean. <laughs> we're done, but we're not done. I've had some issues with the floor when I get into the other video, the miscellaneous video. I'll probably title it miscellaneous. If you're following along the entire build, you'll know where we're picking up from. And I'll throw a little video cards up here so you can refer back to this video and all the other ones. Uh, I've had some complications with this step and the materials that I was wanting to use for the step. We went from going to use tile to the rubber mat and the rubber mat did not work out the way I was intending it to. Yeah, but the floors are done. <laughs> I guess that's it. Peace.